Aquarius, I'm back, period, Aqua Gang. What's up, my Aquarians? What's up, Aqua Gang, Aqua Family? Y'all already know what time it is. It is your girl, Life with Pinky, period. And I am back again with another reading for my Aquarians, my Aqua Gang, my Aqua Family, honey. Without further ado, we gonna jump on right on into it. So, y'all already can tell by the title. We are doing, and this will be part one. I'm going to split it up into two videos. So we're going to do the first six signs, and we'll do the next six signs in the next video. But this is for my Aquarians dealing with all signs. Aquarians and all signs. What are they afraid to tell you? So this will be part one. The first six signs. First sign we'll start with is Aries. Spirit, what are the messages we have for the Aquarian collectives dealing with an Aries what is the Aries afraid to tell them what is the Aries afraid to tell the Aquarius baby come back let's get two more what are the Aries okay <coughs> okay we got a few out so we got baby come back they're afraid to tell you that they want you to come back Aquarius they miss you this Aries is thinking about you, baby. They could be dreaming about you. I know about your other bitches. So, I feel like they know you're dealing with somebody else. You may be dealing with somebody else, Aquarius. Let's go half on the baby. So, they want to trap you with a baby. I feel like they know that you're, you know, out here. You a hot commodity, baby. Um, And they want to trap you. They want to get you pregnant. They want to run your hot girl summer, hot boy summer. I don't know. Why won't you just call me, Aquarius? And last, you are my muse. And at the bottom of the deck, we got let me love you. So this Aries wants you to let them love you, Aquarius. They're scared to tell you this, though. They're scared to say this. Let's clarify. I done picked up the guidebook. <coughs> We're going to clarify. We're going to get some more messages. We're going to get some more details on this shit. Because they had a lot to say. But they scared to talk. Five cars flew out. Why is baby come back here, spirit? Wheel of fortune. Why is I know about your other bitches here? So I feel like the table is turning, Aquarius. The wheel may be turning in their favor. You may be taking this person back or they may be getting you back. Wheel of fortune. This is about a positive change. Positive turn of events. This is Aqua Energy, so, well, Aqua, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo. Um, but this is definitely your energy, Aquarius. This is about an end, of a, um, an end of a tough cycle or just cycles changing, going around in circles. Or this person could have had you, you got me going in circles. That's how they feel. You got them going in circles. Oh, round and round I go. I know about your other bitches. We got the King of Cups clarifying. So I feel like this person is very emotional. They in their feelings right now. <laughs> they in their feelings because, of course, you're not trying to hear that shit. But they're the King of Cups. They got their emotions intact. Or they showing up acting like their emotions are intact. This person could want to, you know, share something with you or, you know, create something with you. I don't know. We got King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. But I feel like you're not trying to hear that shit, Aquarius. We got two of pentacles. So this person could be juggling you and someone else. Let's go half on the baby. So maybe they, they just want to make you the baby mama or the baby daddy. And you not having that shit. Why won't you just call me? Why is why won't you just call me here? Five of swords. Somebody's fighting it. Somebody's fighting a phone call. This is why you're freezing the call. You feel like this person is a liar, a thief, a bully. This could have been some type of abusive relationship. The relationship has ended or it is over. There was a tower moment that happened between you and this Aries. Um, it was inevitable. It had to happen. Um, there was a sudden change. And this is Aries energy. There was a sudden change or temporary chaos. This could have been some type of violent situation or abusive situation. Um, which is why you refuse to reach out or, you know, you don't want to reach out. Spirit, why is you are my muse here? Why is you are my muse here? Four of Pentacles. They want to protect you, Aquarius. They they could be very um overprotective or 
you know, overprotective of you. We got Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. They definitely want to bring you some type of um, joy and uh, total love and support. Some type of contentment. They want to have a happy family with you. End all, be all, Aquarius. Um, but they just don't know how to come to you and say it. It's like they got all these feelings inside, all these emotions inside, and they're keeping it bottled up with the Four of Pentacles. They're keeping keeping it back or holding back or keeping the information from you. This could be some type of uh, greed or desire for your love. Um, they want to bring you long-term security, though, Aquarius, is what I'm getting. But they're juggling at this time. They are juggling. With the Wheel of Fortune, I definitely get this person is definitely making a, a positive change. They're definitely deciding to change for the better. So, let's go to the Taurus. What is the Taurus afraid to tell the Aquarius? What is the Taurus afraid to tell the Aquarius? So, at the bottom of the deck, we got I hate it here. So, wherever they at, Aquarius, they hate it there. They want to be with you. They would rather be with you. I'd rather be with you. Ooh, yeah. Mm -mm. Say, I'd rather be with you. We got walking away. So, they could be walking away from a situation at this time, Aquarius. This is what they're afraid to tell you. They were in a situation. Um... Or they chose someone over you and now they're deciding to walk away from that situation. They wish things were different between you two, Aquarius. Um, you two aren't talking right now, I'm getting. But they can't get you off their mind, Aquarius. I can't get you off my mind. And we got noted. So I feel like you told them something, Aquarius. And it's like, okay, noted. they like, okay, the Aquarius not fucking with it. I just cut the deck inside of three of swords. So yeah, this person could have left you heartbroken. Some type of depression or there was some type of toxic shit that was going on between you and this Taurus. Take what resonates, leave what does not, honey. Spirit, why is walking away here? Why is walking away here? Why is walking away here? The lovers. Yeah, I feel like they're walking away. They could be walking away from a Gemini. Um, they could have been dealing with the Gemini or this other person that they were dealing with was a Gemini, but they're making choices. They're making the decision to walk away from this situation or they could have, um, this is them walking away from you, walking away from the love and balance that you two had, the loyalty, the growth that you two experienced together. Um, but this is also about them making changes and making the right choices, um, in partnerships in their love life and their family life. We got the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. They're scared to come back towards you, Aquarius, <laughs> because you showing up as the Queen of Swords, you're, you know, Feisty, you're not going for it. You straight cutting the jugulars, honey. Why is I wish things were different here? They wish things could change between you two. Yeah, the fool. They want to start some type of new beginning. That's why they wish things were different. They want to be on some type of new beginning with you. They want you to have faith with the sun at the bottom of the deck. They definitely want to bring you some type of fun, some type of harmony, um, joy, happiness. Um, you two could have met in your childhood as well. I don't know. This is a person that's very self-confident. They feel like you're ready to take this new leap of faith with them, start this new journey. Um, neither of you know what to, what to expect, but I feel like you're wanting to start over with this person as well. Why is I can't get you off my mind here? I feel like we got the emperor and the temperance so they want to bring you some type of stability and they also want to balance things out with you they want to bring back some type of balance into this situation maybe you two fell out maybe you two aren't talking like i said um but they definitely want to balance things out um and everything is going to happen in good time and this is about communication as well so somebody wants to come back in and communicate um whether it's you wanting to go back towards the Taurus or whether the Taurus wants to come back towards you and communicate either way um they want to bring you some type of stability they want to protect this situation or protect you at the bottom of the deck we got the six of swords so yeah they're definitely moving on or walking away or abandoning some type of situation this is definitely a necessary transition they could also be moving there could be some type of distance between you two um yeah but this person is showing up as more responsible they want to bring some type of balance. They're being patient or they want to be patient. They want to show you that they can compromise. This is about doing things in moderation. So maybe they're going to, you know, do things slowly. Here, like a little pick here. Send a little text there. And then they're going to come in for the kill. <laughs> Spirit, why is noted here? 
Oh God, I just saw the high priestess. So know that it's here because they know. Or they know. And I feel like they know you're pulling your energy back. They can feel it energetically. Um, the high priestess. There were a lot of secrets here. Maybe you found out about some secrets. Yep, justice. That's why I know that it's here. Because you're going to get some type of justice, Aquarius. Or maybe they want to bring back in some justice for you. Three of Wands. They're wanting to expand with you. Um, work together to create something. With the justice card showing up. And all of this is major arcana. So this shit between you and this Taurus is definitely bound to happen. It's going to happen. It's unavoidable. Um, this is major changes. There are no minor arcana out here. That is crazy. This is the only minor arcana card we got. So yeah, I hate it here, Aquarius. They definitely want to make some type of um, change towards you. This could be um, them waiting for you to come in, waiting on a response, waiting on the text. Not a cups up under that. So yeah, they definitely want to come back in and offer you some type of romantic. Do some type of romantic gesture or something romantic. They want to bring you the justice that you deserve. Um, they want to do things right or do right by you this second time around or this third time around. How many ever times you've been around this circle, around this path, around this, you know, obstacle with this person? This could be your twin flame. Take what resonates, leave what does not. But yeah, definitely get, you're going to be getting some justice when it comes to this Taurus Aquarius. So don't worry. Don't worry. Next on the docket, we have Gemini. Here, what is the Gemini afraid to tell the Aquarius? What is the Gemini afraid to tell the Aquarius? Next, we'll do their feelings towards you. What is the Gemini in the next reading? I'm saying, what is the Gemini afraid to tell the Aquarius? What is the Gemini afraid to tell the Aquarius? Spirit? Is the Gemini afraid to tell the Aquarius? Okay, we also got walking away. What is the Gemini afraid to tell the Aquarius? Okay, I just dropped these, but I saw pick up the phone and then I saw stop calling me. So <laughs> let's try this again. What is the Gemini afraid to tell the Aquarius? more cards. What is the Gemini for to tell the Aquarius? Can we start over? It's not me, it's you. Let's get a few more spirit. What is the Gemini afraid to tell the Aquarius? Okay, let's just stop there. So we got walking away. So the Gemini is either walking away from you, Aquarius, or walking away from a situation that they're also in. We got, it's not me, it's you. So I feel like this is the Gemini walking away from you, Aquarius. They feel like, you know, it's not me, it's you. We got, can we start over? And lastly, we got stop breaking my heart. And at the bottom of the deck, we got baby come back. Hmm. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so with the deck, we got the nine of swords. So somebody's up late at night. Anxious, having, you know, nightmares, restless nights, fears, and anxiety. This is about um, creating creating a narrative in your head, like, of negative thoughts. This is why you're unable to sleep. This could also be your subconscious. I just had a two of cups. So somebody has a choice to make or somebody wants to come in and offer you their cup, Aquarius. This could be the Gemini. I just had the Knight of Swords. So, yeah. They're definitely wanting to rush in and offer you something or or they're rushing away from something. Spirit, why is walking away here for the Gemini and Aquarius? Why is walking away here? We got the nine of wands. Um, so I feel like they're walking away from a situation or, or from this situation um, because they feel like you have your guard up or, or you do have your guard up. You're set in boundaries and they're not comfortable with those boundaries, Aquarius. We got the King of Pentacles. They could definitely um, be in their bag at this time. This is a solid person, practical person, or this is how they're trying to show up. They want to, you know, invest in you or want to be some type of investor in your business or in your you know life in general but yeah you're definitely protecting yourself you're keeping and maintaining your boundaries keeping your distance away from this person um you two are not in communication i'm getting so yeah nine is usually about fulfillment 
And I feel like this person maybe wasn't giving you everything you needed with the nine of ones. So you're feeling like you have to protect yourself against this person. It's not me, it's you. We got the page of wands. Yeah, this person could be um, putting the blame on you. With the page of wands, this is somebody that's um, active. This is about a new project or a new creative idea. But I feel like this is somebody that's putting the blame on you. Look at how you're looking at that stick like, nigga, it was your fault. It wasn't my fault. And we got the devil at the bottom of the deck. So this was definitely some type of toxic situation. Um, there was a lot of short-sightedness, seeing things one way. One person saw things one way and one person saw things the other way. This is about um, someone being very impulsive. Or doing um, things out of impulse, not really thinking things through. Um, but I feel like it's time to examine your motives carefully, Aquarius or Gemini. Figure out what it is that you want. And we got the Eight of Wands. Somebody wants to send you a message. Clarifying, can we start over? So somebody wants to send you a message. They want to communicate. This is um, incoming communication, quick change, action. Somebody wants to make... Um, Make something change or change something with you. There could have been a lot of fights or competition between you and this person or you fighting for this person. There was always like a rivalry or some type of challenge situation. Some, they always wanted to challenge you. But yeah, Six of Swords is definitely here going down on top of breaking, stop breaking my heart. So yeah, I feel like you walked away from this situation or someone did. Um, This was necessary. This had to happen. This is a necessary transition. All of this is minor arcana. You see how that works? And then we got the chariot at the bottom of the deck. So somebody is definitely want to, wanting to have some type of victory with you or some type of um, destiny. They want to be on the on the same journey that you're on or on the path that you're on. This person is definitely determined to achieve this goal is what I'm getting. They definitely want to be with you, Aquarius. They just don't know how to say it. And I'm getting a low-key hater here too, so I don't know where that's coming from. Alrighty, let's move on. What is the Cancer afraid to tell the Aquarius? What is the Cancer afraid to tell the Aquarius? What's the Cancer afraid to tell the Aquarius spirit? What is the Cancer afraid to tell the Aquarius? What is the Cancer afraid to tell the Aquarius? Alrighty, we got two on the floor. At the bottom of the deck, we got pick up the phone, Aquarius. So this cancer wants you to pick up the phone. Maybe you're not speaking to this cancer. You're ignoring this cancer right now. And they want you to pick up the phone. But they don't want you, they don't want to tell you that they want you to pick up the phone, if that makes sense. Make me believe. So they're scared to tell you that they want you to make them believe in something. This could be a situation, a relationship with you two. They want you to make them believe. And we also got, why won't you just call me? So they want you to pick up the phone and they want to know why you why you not calling them. So yeah, like I said, you're not talking to this cancer. So damn Aquarius, are you talking to anybody? <laughs> I need more time. Okay, so they feel like they need more time to heal from a situation that you two were in. Yes, I got I'm secretly in love with you. So this cancer could be secretly in love with you, Aquarius. And it says, let me love you. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Make me believe. Make me believe. Why is make me believe here, spirit? make me believe here why is make me believe here okay I just dropped those why is make me believe here page of pentacles Okay, so I feel like you told this cancer about some type of new idea that you had about making some money or or um, some type of new job or some type of money news. And they want you to make them believe that that's the truth, Aquarius. I feel like this cancer likes to test your patience. I don't know. That's for who that's for. And at the bottom of the deck, we got justice. So, yeah, they feel like um, they want to not learn the truth or they want to learn your truth, learn more about your truth. They're very um, invested in your situation or in your not your situation, but your business. They're very invested. Um, yeah, they're very invested in your business. This is about them wanting to, to 
tell the truth? Are you gaining, learning the truth about this cancer? I don't know, honey. You could be, like I said, telling this cancer about your new ideas or your new money moves. And I don't know. Maybe they want to help you out. Maybe they want to, you know, they want to invest in your business. Like I said, they're invested in your business, Aquarius. They in your business. Why is, why won't you just call me here? Why is, why won't you just call me here? Nine of Swords, yeah. They up late at night waiting on this phone call. They feel lost. They're at some type of lost or depressed, depressive state right now, Aquarius. They're up late at night. They can't sleep. They're having nightmares. They're very anxious um, because they they haven't been talking to you, Ace of Cups, and they want to come back in and talk. They want to communicate. This is about a new baby or relationship or proposal or marriage. They want to come back in and either tell you about this that they're going through or they want to have this with you and it's like you're not talking to them so they're up late at night can't sleep don't know who to talk to ain't got nobody to call oh wow yeah they're very depressed Aquarius or they're going through some type of anxiety some type of anxious mind state that they're in they could be um you know thinking thinking negatively or having negative thoughts overly obsessing over things why is I need more time here Why does I need more time here? This could be why they need more time. They're not ready, Aquarius. Look, seven of cups. They got a lot of options. It's, Cancer has a lot of options. They have a lot of options. This is why they need more time. They need more time to make um, the commitment choice, basically. They need... <coughs> Okay, they need more time to um, make the decision. They're having commitment issues or someone here has commitment issues. We have death, um, but I, I'm getting you're not afraid of this change, Aquarius. Um, there's something that happened between you. There was like an ending here because of the many options that this uh, cancer had. Or maybe they thought that you had more, more options or it's a lot of options. So there was definitely something that ended here between you two. And someone wasn't afraid to let it in. This is about new beginnings as well. Clearing out the old. Making a change for the better. Um, so this could be you clearing out. You have all these options or you had all these options. Or this is how the cancer views you. Um, and you just decided to end it. You decided to walk away. Make There was some type of transformation here. Some type of transformative, sh transformative shift. You decided to walk away is what I'm getting. This person had a lot of options. Why is I'm secretly in love with you here? <coughs> you decided to walk away. You didn't want to hear all that love shit, all that I love you bullshit. You made the choice to walk away or that was a choice here. You had a choice to either love this person or they had a choice to love you. And someone wasn't, you know, making the decision and making the decision to cut this situation off. Someone here needed to leave this situation alone. Um, a time to compromise or make a decision. So, yeah, somebody had to make a decision to walk away, to pack up all of this stress and burdens. Somebody could have taken on too many, um, too many things, took on too many, um, obstacles. And at this point, you're just stressed. There was too many burdens. Maybe this cancer, you know, was very energy draining. I don't know. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Why is let me love you here? Somebody had to make the choice to walk away, lay their burdens down. Somebody was exhausted in this situation. Let me love you. The Ten of Pentacles. They definitely want to bring you some type of happiness. <coughs> some type of um, stable offer. Um, a committed offer. With the Ten of Pentacles, this is, um, you know. In, well, not end all be all, but this is. 10 is about finality, completion. So, yeah, they want to they want to complete a cycle with you or they want to bring, you know, bring some type of situation to an end, some type of toxic situation. They want to come back in and offer you a proposal, of course. They have some type of proposition for you. This could be about a marriage or a new baby or a new relationship just in general. But, yeah, they want to come back in um, and either tell you, like I said, that they're going through this or they want to have this family. They want to leave some type of legacy behind um, with you. They want to merge families this is also about inheriting something so they want to inherit your love they want to feel like they earned it aquarius and yeah somebody here could be pregnant or getting pregnant we got a new baby so hmm proposal somebody could be getting married maybe the cancer wants to come back in and marry you or maybe they're coming back in to tell you that they're getting married they're pregnant i don't know take what resonates leave what does not moving right along 
What is the Leo afraid to tell the Aquarius? What is the Leo afraid to tell the Aquarius? Oh, Lord. What is the Leo afraid to tell the Aquarius? What is the Leo afraid to tell the Aquarius? What is the Leo afraid to tell the Aquarius? One more. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we got, do you still think of me, Aquarius? So the Leo wants to know, do you still think of them? Are they still on your mind, Aquarius? First out, we got, it's not me, it's you. But I feel like this is the Leo putting up some type of front. They know it's them. <coughs> they know what they did to cause this, this riffraff between you two. So I don't even understand. You see, we going to get into it. You make me weak, Aquarius. So you make this Leo weak. They don't know how to, you know say certain things to you or act around you or do certain things around you they don't know how and we got i don't know why i push you away this is why i say this is not me it's you energy is definitely giving me this this leo is uh putting on some type of front we were just friends so maybe y'all were just friends y'all weren't you know serious or maybe y'all were friends with benefits i don't know we got please forgive me so they want some forgiveness aquarius they know they fucked up like I said, this is why I feel like this is not me, it's you. This is you saying this to them, Aquarius. And they're trying to use your words against you. Like, they trying to... Some Leo shit. They trying to use what you said against you. Okay. Let's get into it. Next, we're going to do the Virgo. I just saw the star card. So, they're hopeful, Aquarius. Yeah, they're hopeful. They want to bring you some type of family situation or have some type of family with you. They want to settle down. Why is this not me? It's you here. Aquarius, I feel like everybody trying to put the blame on you. Hmm. Why is this not me? It's you here. Tell me why. Why is this not me? It's you here. Okay, we got King of Cups. Yep, they in their feelings. All really emotional about some shit. They trying to put the blame on you, like I said. Yeah, we got the world at the bottom of the deck. So they want to have some type of, or this is some type of repeating cycle. Or they want to complete a cycle with you. This is some type of repeating cycle or they want to complete a cycle. I don't know. This is about them trying to meet some type of objective that they set for themselves with you. Um, they're wanting to pave a way for new beginnings. This is also um, a celebration or celebrating something. Hold on, my camera finna stop. Okay, yeah, so this is either a celebration or um, possibly gaining some type of material success or material abundance. But anyway, with the King of Cups, I definitely feel like this person is in their feelings. Um, they could be overly emotional. They get mad easily or very quickly. But I feel like they're learning how to keep their emotions in check or they're learning how to get their emotions in check so that they can't come towards you. Why does you make me weak here? It's like, but they can't, Aquarius. There's something about you that this Leo can't quite put their finger on. It's like, they've never felt like this with anybody else. You make them weak. This is why they push you away because they don't want to get too close. They feel like, um, I, I feel like they think you're going to, walk away from them or let them down some type of way like they don't want to let you completely in they could be very emotional when it comes to certain things are overly emotional okay why is you make me weak here this leo is very passionate about you aquarius i just heard knight of swords because they don't know whether they want to rush in or run away <laughs> they don't know whether they want you to rush in or whether they want to walk away or push you away i don't know with the knight of swords this is definitely somebody that um they're always changing their lifestyle or their lifestyle is constantly on the move this is a, a very fast talking person they could be very manipulative as well so that's for who that's for and i just feel like yeah it's like you've offered them your cup or time and time again and they keep you know turning it down they're overlooking it or they don't give a damn and it's like now they want to rush in but this is about them pushing you away now they want to rush in after you done finally 
you like fuck it you done pulled whatever you had in that cup out and baby you done got the fuck on and now they want to rush in towards you look at this now they want to rush in towards you Aquarius spirit why is I don't know why I push you away here I don't know why I push you away Aquarius why is this here this is here, <laughs> Three of Cups. They don't know why they push you away when they want to have this joy with you, this celebration. They want to be able to celebrate your shortcomings or your upcomings and theirs as well. They want to celebrate together. Look, they want to have a legacy with you or leave some type of legacy behind, but they don't know why they constantly push you away because they know they want this happiness with you. And it's like, damn. This could be it. This could be the person that I get my bag with. We in a, we in a, you know, we both in our bag. We both, you know, bringing something to the table. We can leave a legacy behind. This is about inheriting or earning something. And they don't know why they push you away, Aquarius. We were just friends. Why is we were just friends here? So they want to come back in and talk about this. They want to come back in and, and, and they're probably going to say, we were just friends. We weren't even that serious. So be prepared for bombarding text messages. This person could feel like you have many options, Aquarius, which is why they want to come back in all of a sudden because they feel like you're moving on. They feel like you have other options or other players at the table. Um, so now they're rushing in to bring you this communication. Maybe they're going to invite you to some type of party or something. I don't know. I don't know. They want to celebrate something with you, Aquarius. But yeah, I feel like they're rushing in now because they feel like you have all these options or all these choices that you could choose from and they want to be the, one of the picks. Okay? That's what I'm getting. They want to be one of your options, Aquarius. Um, so they're going to they're gonna come back in. It's going to be very quick. This is about quick changes, news coming in, speed, doing things in a swift forward motion with the Knight of Swords. Yeah, this is definitely somebody that want to want to rush back in. They can talk um like not a fast talker but a smooth talking motherfucker <laughs> i don't know they did something they want to come back in and talk about it aquarius so you could be getting text messages somebody could be sending you uh, messages back to back or just you know it's not even a message somebody might have sent you a picture or could send you a picture and not even say anything they just send send a bunch of pictures i don't know that's for who that's for why is please forgive me here, Spirit? Why is please forgive me here? Why is... So, Aquarius. And we got the Leo at the bottom of the deck. Boom. But... We got the Four of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Two of Wands for Please Forgive Me. So, Aquarius, I feel like they want you to forgive them because they do know that you were trying your hardest to offer them, you know, your all. You you gave everything to this situation, and I feel like they, they you know, acted like they didn't give a damn. They acted like they didn't give two fucks, and now they want you to forgive them because, look, they said they went and talked to the lady. They went and seen the lady, Aquarius. They went and talked to some spiritual or they had some type of mentor. They they went and talked to the lady, Aquarius, and they want you to forgive them now. So now they're sitting waiting. They're waiting to make a choice or waiting on you to make a choice or waiting for you to make a decision. They feel like they don't want to wait anymore, Aquarius. Or they feel like you're not waiting anymore. But they're waiting or maybe you're waiting to for them to show you that they went and talked to the lady. Like, okay, what the lady told you to do? Hmm. This is about believing that they can change Aquarius. Some type of judgment call here. And we got strength at the bottom of the day. So they feel like they have the strength. They can endure whatever you put them through. They have the courage. They're going to eventually come back in and say something to you. They're very self-confident, Aquarius. 555, as I say that. Um, this is about them gaining the inner strength to come back towards you. This is also about forgiveness, Aquarius. So they know they want you to forgive them. Um, forgive the Leo. That's what's going on at the bottom of the deck. They know they want some type of forgiveness with you um, because they went and talked to someone. They went and got some help to really understand themselves. Maybe they had to heal themselves um, first. They had to figure out um, their morality and what they wanted um, for themselves. They had to make some type of change. This is also about them expanding or wanting to expand. They want to learn more. Maybe they want to be on the same path that you're on. They want you to teach them, Aquarius. Um, you you could be traveling with this person. This person is a 
a frequent traveler. I don't know. That's for who that's for. Um, but this is about them making a choice or you needing to make a choice and a, a, a decision whether if you're, you know, going to forgive this person or not. This could be somebody that you met in your past life or um, somebody that you met in your childhood or you've just known this person for a long time. They're very nostalgic. They're thinking about the old times that you two share together. We also got the five of cups here. So they're crying over spilled milk, Aquarius. This person is upset that you walked away or you are upset that they walked away. That's for who that's for. Let's move right along. Moving right along to the Virgo. What is the Virgo afraid to tell the Aquarius? What is the Virgo afraid to tell the Aquarius spirit? What is the Virgo afraid to say? What is the Virgo afraid to tell the Aquarius? Okay, so we got I won't let you walk away, Aquarius. And at the bottom of the deck, we got I know about your other bitches. So yeah, Aquarius, you have an options, okay? And everybody know, they know what's going on. Okay, Virgo had a lot of shit to say. Virgo said I'm a narcissist. And this is what they're afraid to tell you. They're very narcissistic, Aquarius. They could be a love bomber. This I won't let you walk away energy is definitely giving me definitely narcissists. They did some shit and they know you're trying to walk away. They know you're trying to move on. It's like they're holding on to you energetically. I want more. So, of course, they want more of your love, more of your affection. I feel like you pulled away from this, Virgo. You walked away from this situation. I don't like them. Um, so, yeah, you feel like you, you. I know about your other bitches. I feel like this is you telling the Virgo this. I'm hiding my feelings. That I miss you so much. So they miss you so much, Aquarius, but they're hiding their feelings. They don't want you to find out about the situation that they were in. Maybe they were juggling. They had options. They had other choices. But now they missing you. Hmm. They wanted to talk, too. So this Virgo could be wanting to talk to you. You're not talking to this Virgo. Are you talking to anybody, Aquarius? Because what's going on? <laughs> I feel like you just shut off from the world, and that's okay. Ain't no wrong with that. Okay, my car is only on the shuffle. Why is I won't let you walk away here, spirit? Why is I won't let you walk away here? Why is I won't let you walk away here? The star. <laughs> This is why they don't want to let you walk away. And look what I said. The star don't went in the hermit mode. So you're not talking to nobody. But the hermit is also Virgo energy. So I like how y'all trying to show up in y'all in y'all portion. I'm fucking with that signs. Okay, but the star is here because this Virgo is very hopeful, of course. Maybe you inspired this Virgo to make some type of change. Um, This is why they don't want to let you walk away. Look at you. Who wants to let the Aquarius walk away? <laughs> nobody yet i feel like you're you're in alignment right now aquarius you're on the right path and they see this they see this light in you this joy in you this um you're very inspiring right now aquarius and i feel like they see this they're noticing this is, and this is why they don't want to um lose you this is like um they're getting some type of new idea to come towards you or they're very hopeful right now but with the hermit card at the bottom of the deck i'm getting this person could be on their spiritual quest or you're on yours this is why you've taken a break from any social activity whatsoever you're following your inner path um or your own path through uh inner guidance and you're guiding yourself down the right path you're looking and going within at this time aquarius or this is what the virgo needs to do I feel like the Virgo is so practical. They're so, you know, what is it? Um, predictable. It's like, you know, this Virgo is going to come back towards you. But they know you're the star, Aquarius. And I see the tower moment. The tower moment. Somebody had a tower moment for I'm a narcissist. You found out this person was a narcissist and it ended. Some shit had to end. There was a sudden change um, or an unexpected change that happened between you and this Virgo. There was some turbulence here, um, but it led to a beneficial outcome, Aquarius. We got the eight of wands. This person's wanting to come back in and talk about this situation that happened between you two, this tower moment, whatever ended. They want to come back in and talk about it. Um, they want to reveal something to you, maybe why they weren't as you know open as they should have been or why they were a narcissist 
Um, this is about you finding out things, Aquarius. So, yeah, you could be getting messages, text messages, emails, phone calls, DMs. I don't know. Why is I want more here? We starting with this major arcana. So, I feel like... Look at this. I feel like you were completely open and honest with this person, Aquarius. Um, you were naked. You gave your all. You gave a lot. We're just going to go ahead and clarify all these and then we'll talk about it. You gave a lot, Aquarius, to this situation. And I feel like they took you for granted. So, yeah. At the bottom of the deck, we got the King of Pentacles. Um, maybe this person wasn't in their stability like they wanted to be. Um, but now they are. They're very solid right now they're practical like i said they're very pre predictable um but this is the <laughs> virgo energy again at the bottom of the deck this is a wise investor somebody wants to invest in this situation they want to build with you aquarius i want more of the magician they're trying to manifest this situation with you they want to call you back in this is virgo energy again virgo gemini um but this is having the willpower to make this happen between you two maybe they want to tap into their full potential they want to show you that they can tap into their full potential you influence something in them where now they're wanting to, you know, perfect their, their craft or, or gain some type of skill, practice some type of skill, Aquarius. I don't know. Um, they could also be a manipulator, like I said, with the magician here. Somebody's doing some <laughs> some uh, magic. I don't know, Aquarius. They're trying to, they think it's magic, like it'll happen magically. I don't know, Aquarius. This is also about thinking logically and using your intellectual um thought using intellect <laughs> when you uh hone in on your power or tap in on your full potential or they're trying to tap into their full potential before they come back towards you um we got i don't like them so this person is definitely single at this time aquarius or they're trying to act like they're single or they want to be single with the nine of pentacles they want to um live in luxury they could be very materialistic or all they think about is money or all they talk about is money or maybe they want to bring this abundance towards you aquarius with the ten of cups here i'm definitely getting they're hiding their feelings but they want to have this happy family with you um they want to you know be open emotionally they want to complete this cycle with you or complete a lesson this lesson that they're going through the star the tower the magician the nine of pentacles ten of cups it's like what is going on and i miss you so much clarified by the queen of swords so yeah of course i'm getting you're not you're not going for the bullshit right now it's like they see you as this person that's so not mean but you're so blunt and they don't know how to approach you they don't know what to say because they feel like you're gonna cut them with your tongue like your words are so sharp Aquarius and you don't even be trying to be like that I definitely feel like you're in your bag and they're in theirs or they're trying to get in their bag they're trying to be more solid and practical when it comes to coming towards you when it comes to making a decision um to come towards you but they they definitely don't like the person that they're dealing with that's for sure they definitely don't like where they are I know about your other bitches so we're going to get some goddess oracle and then we're going to get up out of here. We're going to see which goddess came through. Which goddess came through. Let me put these back. And again, we'll do part two tomorrow for the next six signs. So that'll be Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. We'll be in the next video. What goddess is coming through for my Aquarians dealing with these signs? What goddess is coming through? Give me one card of spirit. What goddess is coming through for my Aquas? What goddess is coming through for the Aquarius? Miss Reading. Which goddess is speaking to my Aquas? Okay, y'all know when I say give me one card, they give me more than one. So, <laughs> Allah, grief. And Ketish, Sacred Lust. And at the bottom of the deck, we got Atet, Worthiness. So we got the number 29, the number 26, and the number 14. So let's go and read Allah. What does Allah have to say to you? Goddess of Grief, Igbo, Nigeria, Temple, Lovers, Element, Bush. Ancient Earth Mother Allah is the foremost Igbo, Aluesi, Alusi. I don't know how to say that. Baby. 
Goddess Allah oversees motherhood, fertility, and the afterlife. After death, human re humans return to the womb of Allah, replanted into the soul to reincarnate. Allah's guidance. Give spirit your grief. Brawl. Ball it out, wail it out, cry it out, sob, shriek, shed tears, surrender it, embodiment. You are holding unprocessed grief. You want to skip over it and get back to normal, but grief doesn't go away because you ignore it. The only way to healing is to walk through it. Losing a loved one is the ultimate heartbreak, but you also experience grief after breakups, job loss, and disappointment. Self-love and self-care are required. Ask for support. Be gentle with yourself. Goddess Declaration. I am supported by my loved ones, those who are seen, and those who are unseen. And we got Katish. Katish. Goddess of sacred lust, Egypt, temple lovers, element fire, Katish, the mistress of the gods, is the Egyptian goddess of sacred sexuality, ecstasy, and fertility. Her two men, yes, are the fertility god, men, and Montu, the god of war. Katish guidance, you are an erotic creature. You have a divine right to experience sensual ecstasy. It is sacred to give and receive pleasure. Embodiment, you deserve to feel good. It feels good to feel good, so allow yourself to feel good. Lean into your sacred lust. Turn up your own fire and quench your thirst. Dance with pleasure. You daring to embrace your sensuality will set the world on fire. De Goddess declaration, it feels good to feel good. And lastly, at the bottom of the deck, we got a tet. Or a, te a tete? Worthiness. Goddess of worthiness. Oromu, Ethiopia. Temple, warriors, element, bush. Great goddess, Atet. Queen of the gods is a fierce protector of women and girls for the Oromu people of Ethiopia. Guidance. Stop hiding, shrinking, and playing small. Stand tall like the majestic sycamore tree. You are mighty. Life does not need to be perfect for you to embrace your own perfection. Embodiment. You matter. Worthiness is in your veins. Accept yourself now. Your birth certificate says that we need to. We need your overflowing magic, joy, and vulnerability. And most importantly, we need you. You are deserving and worthy. The beautiful parts of you that everyone likes are worth loving. The parts that you or others dislike are worth loving too. Your creator loves you unconditionally. Goddess declaration. I matter. Period, Aquas. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Leave me some purple emojis down below. Some aqua emojis. Leave me some pink emojis. Whatever color emoji you feel drawn to leave, baby, leave it. And I love you guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace, love, and light. Peace out.